Welcome to Front and Center with Jackie Jordan. Hi, Jackie Jordan. It's Jennifer Love Hewitt. Here's to all the people making an impact. Lots of love. This is Front and Center with your host, Jackie Jordan. Entertainment and pop culture expert Jackie Jordan is with us. Two-time Emmy-nominated Hollywood producer Jackie Jordan. We are the show where we talk with the change agents, the storytellers, and the activators from behind the scenes, making impact. And joining me is co-host Phil Barb. With show producer Stephanie Cobian. Everyone has a friend or has a product that needs to go on Shark Tank. Well, yeah, you say yes to everything until you hit a certain level. Welcome to Front and Center. I'm Jackie Jordan. This is the show where we meet the storytellers, change agents, and activators that are making impact. I'm joined with show producer Stephanie Cobian and reality television producer Philip Andrew. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to meet the behind the scenes storytellers, change agents, and activators that affect and impact collective narratives. And I prefer the word activators over activists. On this episode, we meet powerhouse producer, editor, casting director, Margot Romero, four-time Shark Tank Emmy-winning team member with a current team nomination for Outstanding Casting for a reality program for Mark Burnett Productions. And I will just say, my favorite Shark Tank product is the Squatty Potty which sold $1 million uh, dollars in 24 hours. I will just say that on the season six debut. We're going to find out some of those really great stories about that. So, Philip, Stephanie, do you have a favorite Shark Tank product? I, there were these shoes. They had, like, the first couple seasons, and they um, they could put, like, designs on the shoes, and, like, you get, like, they were kind of converse-looking, and it was in Venice. I don't think they got a deal, but I thought they were cool, and I was like, I need to check you guys out. I haven't yet, but. I love the show. Like, I just love what it has done for uh, entrepreneurs. And I think it's motivating, too. You just see other people out there doing it. You that's know, it, what I like as a business owner. Yeah, As totally. a business owner, I think that's what I like about it, too, is that you just see people really putting themselves out there. And we get so much. And, you know, the micro economy is the small businesses, the small business owners. So. so many. That's why there's been so many seasons. Well, we're going to hear her stories from behind the scenes uh, here on Front and Center. And what I was also looking for for this particular show or the actual show series, which was really important to me in establishing the voice for the show, was people making a difference in a huge way that aren't always recognized. And one of the projects that our upcoming guest, Margot Romero, is working on, uh, worked on and won an Emmy for, as well as the producer uh, editor, is the Empowerment Project, which is about extraordinary women doing extraordinary things. And even though this show series isn't going to be just about women, I love the concept of ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And that's the whole idea behind being behind the scenes and now front and center. So, Phil, we've probably known each other for a long time now. Yes, it's been we're we're getting close to getting close to a decade now. And you're a behind the scenes person doing a lot right now, front and center. Trying, yeah. trying to do it. Yeah, no, and doing making a lot of things. Impact. And, and you know, and I think that there's such an like one of the great things is you know growing up, uh, you know, I don't think you always notice like you just see that you see content, you see TV shows, and you just assume like oh these are the people do, you and you have no idea. Like, I remember being a little kid and seeing, like, the movie credits roll. Be like, who are, who are all these people? And what are they doing? And, um, and then moving out, to, you know, moving out to California and being able to, like, dive into the industry, you see all of the, not just people doing a great job at their work, but then all of the passionate things that people have going outside of it. Um, and it really is, it's uh, being in the environment where you see other people chasing their dreams, and it's just so motivating to want to go out and create. And, uh, and once you start to you know, get certain skills and you learn certain things, it just, it all builds. And then all of a sudden you're just like, oh yeah, I'm, I just want to work all the time because I love it. And it's so much fun. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even feel like it's work. I feel like it's, it's just like creating. You're just living. Yeah. You're just creating. You're just living. Yeah. Stephanie and I have had the privilege of working together for a little over a decade. Yeah. Now. <laughs> A while, a while. It's I been mean. such a privilege. We've created a lot together. Yeah. And then you were an accidental bumpin'. 
Yeah, I, I'm originally from Metro Detroit, as you know, and I moved out and I was just that stereotypical kid. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to get a job in entertainment. I didn't I had never been west of Wisconsin before. And when I got to Los Angeles, I had that energy of like, if they can just see me, I don't know who they is, but if they could just see me and hear me and, and if I can just get a resume in their hand, maybe, maybe I can get a job somewhere. And so I would just go door to door at production companies. And hand out my resume, just trying to, you know, break into the industry. And uh, so I remember one day, you know, getting to one of those little placards at like a corporate office that has the listing of all the companies. And I'm looking and I just see uh, TV Gaspert. And I was like, well, I don't know what that is, but it has the letters T and V in it. So they must That's be, something I would have done. You know, That's so they, something I would have done They must for have sure. done something in entertainment. very clever with that. You know, and it's it's so amazing. And I think this is one of those moments where you look at and you're like, you know, you can never, you can only connect the, uh, or connect the dots looking backwards. And... You know, to, to now be, you know, have such a great relationship with you and to be, you know, to working together and knowing that it all stemmed from, hey, look, I see the letters T and V and I'm going to go find out what they do in there. Uh, do you and, remember the you day know, he and, bounced and in amazing. the office? It's he so literally amazing. bounced yeah. in the office. Yeah. And it's going to be perfect because that we. office was fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really fun office. It was, it was a, a fun good office. time. Thanks, we had some good times thanks. there. <laughs> and that's perfect because later on we have friend and a longtime colleague, Krista Parkinson. She's also one of those change agents that we're talking about here, making an impact, which she'll be on front and center. And I knew her from her super agent days with her big cape at William Morris. And, you know, she started a company which I think is revolutionary and significant to this particular particular conversation, which is my grads get jobs. And yeah. Well, I'm just curious if the, uh, you know, what you did 10, 11 years ago, going from door to door is something that would work now. I wonder if Krista, you know, but she's going to say that exactly. That. I mean, yeah. Is it the same? I mean, I don't know where Netflix door, knock, knock, knock. Anybody but you help? literally have that Hollywood story where yeah. I just showed up with my resume and said here. Well, a lot of people said no. <laughs> there were a lot of, I met a lot of security guards. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, our executive producer, Scott, of the of this show, he has that also same kind of energy. Like, let's just go to the door. And yeah. if the security guard says, no, it's move on. <laughs> Knock somewhere else. And I just wanted to also say that you wrote the foreword to our, our book, The Ultimate On-Camera Guidebook, hosts experts and influencers with my co-author, Shannon O'Dowd. And I really appreciate that so I, thank you so much well that. no and it was an, an absolute honor to be to be asked to write that and it was um it, it really did you know i'm gonna get all sentimental like it meant a lot to be asked to do that so thank you so much and um and uh to everyone that's watching go buy the book no i'm kidding <laughs> so, <laughs> no i'm not wow, kidding no wow. actually go buy the book yeah go buy the book so phil on this particular show you are going to be the one man there's going to be three women mm -hmm. and there's you know, um, we get pitched as uh, publishers all the time, different book concepts. And there's this gentleman named Ryan Merkel who wrote a book called The Quadrant. And he believes in that all the universe is built on three plus one. So now that I've been aware of this, and you can find him on Facebook because he puts his whole theory out there, I keep looking for the relevancy of three and one. And I keep finding the patterning, that numer numerical patterning of three and one. So today you would be the one. I won't won't necessarily say the t token white male at the is table, it, but I, I'm, the, I'm the plus one. I'm the plus one at this the, party. You got it. You got that right. So um, it made me think that um, I swim on this master swim team and um, with all these really fantastic swimmers. And I call myself a guppy and I'm in the guppy lane because I've never swam competitively. I do it because I li like to be outside. I like the water. It's great exercise. And so I'm in the slow lane and I'm fine with it. I've been doing it for nine years. I can keep up with all of them. They're, they're champions, they're competitors. And there's a lot of recreational swimmers like myself who are just doing it for like the exercise and I can do all the workouts. So it was brought to the um, team's attention that we were in the slow lane and that you know, why are we be called the slow lane? Well, it's because we have the slowest time of the four lanes. So somebody was really offended by that. And so now it's the fast lane, the mid fast lane, the middle lane, and the choice lane. Oh my God. <laughs> and I am now swimming in the choice lane. Choice so lane. all of our times on the, on the board when we get our time sets are the CL. We're all in the water with our little hats on. And we're like, why are we in the CL? Because we're the choice lane. You choose to be in our lane. So we're not just the <laughs> slow lane anymore. And, you know, I, it's kind of like some of it's a little over the top, isn't it? Trying to reconcile all these indifferences and But you and are the slow lane because you are slow. Exactly. I don't understand the... 
change exactly. what that is stemming from. Right? I mean, if you're slow, you're slow, you're slow. I am slow. I love it, but I'm slow. <laughs> I don't know if the fast lane people would be so happy if I joined their lane, but... <laughs> you know what? Hey. But in our choice lane... All are welcome. So there you go. There I you like go. that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's okay, Phil. I'm always, when it comes to TV guests, but I'm always the token Mexican. Only half Mexican, whitest Mexican, but Mexican. <laughs> and my friend, literally, my best friend calls me, I'm the taco from Burger King. Oh my God. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my, I get to be token here and there too. So it's okay. The joke within the joke within the joke, which now are all just bad jokes. <laughs> We're all token in some way. Uh, of course. But We're anyway, Ryan Merkel will keep it the three in one theory. Three in one theory. I like that. Yeah. What, and what other what other places have you found the three in one? Um, I did some research because I thought it was really fascinating. It caught my attention as, you know, content does. And apparently it is a like an ancient historical algorithm of which like I guess even like the pyramid is three sides. Yeah. But it's it's a four. I, see, you know, I'm with you on that. I love all those. Oh, yeah, I, I love like, all those type of of the numerical stuff that it feels like it shouldn't make sense, and then it ends up, like the ends like the eighty sense. like the eighty twenty rule. Yeah, and how how prominent that becomes in so many different areas, um, and uh, in a lot of other things of the that are much do more. All the yeah. work and eighty percent don't do the work exactly. And um, there's a there's a really cool theory also, and and I don't know enough about it to speak intelligently on it, but it's called the the rule or the law of really big numbers. Oh, it's and it's like when that. you, yeah, go look it up because I don't know enough. To, okay. I brought it up, but I don't know enough to actually talk about it. But it's you like, got it, it. it's actually, it talks about this crazy thing of how like we always use like, oh, getting hit by, struck by lightning as like, it's this really rare thing. And they actually say like, it's actually should happen a lot more. Like statistically, oh. it's actually amazing that it doesn't happen more oh. when you think of how much lightning and all these Happens. things. And, um, but yeah, law of really big numbers, 80, 20 rule. And we'll three, look for the three, three plus one. one yeah. We'll look for the three plus one. Always. You know, ninety nine cents. Well, I'll just it's give just you the a better deal. <laughs> I'll it's give you. The, deal. I'll give you the last three. Th- like three plus one. one that we ran. Th- we ran through uh, pre show, which was there's what you you intend to say, there's what you actually say, there's what you wish you said, and there's a result. Yeah, <laughs> that's the three plus one. You know, I'm an extrovert as as most of us are, but like so, I'm I'm with the things I'm saying. I'm thinking, you know, like I'm figuring it out as I'm saying it. <laughs> So I have, by the time that I've said it and I think I've already moved on. So, you know, that's why, that's why we have the other producers to, to protect us. Like, hey, that's uh, okay. you know, when I see somebody waving, waving their hands furiously, I know like, or that's cutting the, the chop of the, the Exactly. That's I know. No, hey, Phil, uh, maybe just have a sip of your coffee and stuff. There's talking. the cue. Yeah. I have issues. I speak too fast. Sometimes my words come out faster than my brain can even follow. Or I have to, like, at times people are like, can you slow down when I do, like, when I talk to our clients sometimes, they're just like, what did you say? I'm like, oh, my gosh, keep up. Like, you got to go, like, think faster with me. Keep up with what I'm saying. So not quite the same as you, but I I talk really fast. I have to really make myself go slow. I feed off of my own energy, which is just such a weird thing like i get i start getting amped up and then i get amped up and then all of a sudden i'm talking really fast i don't know what's going on no one can follow me up but i'm like but in my head i'm i'm a brilliant yeah. communicator yeah. there you go yeah, exactly in our next segment sequence we have producer margo romero from shark tank she shares what it's like and the magic that happens putting those businesses on the show everyone has a friend or has a product that needs to go on shark tank and and no one understands until they get there, what it takes to actually get on the show. In addition, she'll share her editing experience on The Empowerment Project, Extraordinary Women Doing Extraordinary Things, a theme for our show here, Front and Center. If you are doing extraordinary things from behind the scenes, from any walk of life, we'd love to hear from you at frontandcenteredpodcast.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube at TV Guestbert and or TV Guestbert Broadcast Podcast. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook at TV Guestbert. Still to come, front and center conversation with former William Morris agent Krista Parkinson, who is now the CEO of My Grads Get Jobs. One of the things that uh, is key when you're an agent is about relationship building and network building. Are you ready to take your seat front and center and need some behind the scenes media training? Sign up for our online course, Media Marketing. For more information, go to tvguestbert.com. Alex Detail was a child genius who saved the world from the evil harvesters. But a decade later, this mysterious alien force has returned, and Alex is no longer a prodigy. 
Now, in order to save the world again, he must survive his kidnapping, fight his evil clone, and get his ship to the planet Pluto, where he will uncover the universe's ultimate power. Alex Details Revolution, a thrilling new novel by Darren Campo. Buy online or wherever books are sold.